Already kicking off in style, 5 0 over Lennon. Now it's time for the Manning Cup to begin with the defending champions, Jamaica College, expected to face a much sterner test against the reigning Walker Cup knockout champion, Tivoli Gardens High. and many before time after time they burned their rivals through hard work and an intense desire to win 31 many cup titles seven of the last ten this is jc this is true blue tonight they walk out alongside genuine challengers tiffany high the reigning walker cup knockout champions feverishly desirous of disrupting the status quo and many feel they have a lineup that will be capable of doing just that. My name is Ricardo Ladies Chambers, alongside Dwight Chambers. Get ready for the opening of the Manning Cup that. competition, defending yeah, champions. It's a big encounter here that we're expecting today, Tivoli. and it's Tivoli Gardens Meeting team. The teams, Keith uh, Wellington, definitely President, really, they haven't had a, a, a very good result Dr. against Anko, this uh, Jamaica Chief College Lee. team in recent times. Right, um, as such, Cup though, chairman, based on what we've seen Webby, um, in preseason, may just be their best year to try and upset the Apricard here. Shanique Dunchy, brand manager Pringles. Carisha Ferguson, Martin they have not to make a college lost to Tivoli Gardens or concede a goal. Campbell, and we date that back to 2012 when we look at the Cassie stats. Perrell, no goals conceded Kirk or a loss to Tivoli Janine Gardens Phillips. for Jamaica College. Senior so it's a game in which uh, they come in installed event. at heavy favorite Jamaica College. And uh, Tivoli Gardens, though, you feel on the and evidence game, of the what some of us were privy to see in preseason. A team that could cause problems. Much better turnout for this Manning Cup opener than we had earlier for the Da Costa Cup opener. Comfortable victory for the defending champions. Clarendon College over Lennon. And there are many who feel, Dwight Jeremiah, that this Tivoli Gardens team has what it takes to challenge not just this evening, 
but deep into the Manning Cup this season. Yeah, they're playing style. They, they, they do. They can play in different ways. We've seen them do that in, in, in a game, being if they need to beat a press playing through it, or if they can be lightning quick on the counter. Uh, they're certainly capable of that. And Daniel Watson, their number 10, uh, certainly a good player in that middle of the park. Led them with five goals last season, Daniel Watson. And will be an important part of their push to go deep in the Manning Cup this campaign. There's the officiating party led by Odette Hamilton, who will be in the middle. Stephanie Daly Singh, first assistant, Keone Denton the second assistant and Nerissa Golson, the fourth official for this contest. Well, let's have a look at the Jamaica College starting lineup, a much different lineup to the one that played in the Manning Cup final last year. In fact, just two players who started on the bench on that day in today's lineup. They have Tawain Lynch, who will be in goal, Malachi Sterling, Renson Sayers Jr., JD Johnson, Dante Logan, Javon Mills, Dylan John, Jabari Howell, Amarley King, Terry Garrick, and Giovanni Taylor. He is to be watched for sure. Most definitely, and they play the 4-3-3. But even so, Malachi Sterling at the back will offer a lot of stability. Yeah, for the Tivoli Gardens team, five members of the team that played in the Walker Cup final last year, starting here as well. Shakur Adair in goal, Deshaun Tate, Shane McIntosh, Dwayne Johnson, and that number 10, Daniel Johnson. And they also have Dave Campbell, Ryan O'Neill Francis, Ramisha Roden, Shaquille Henry, Romaine Spence, and Malachi Rose, their big number 10, Daniel Watson, to be watched for sure. Most certainly, he will definitely create a spark in the middle of the park. And they might line up in a 3-5-2 system, but certainly they morph, they morph into uh, some really good defensive shape. And uh, they play on the counter at times as well. So whatever Jamaica College has to offer today, I think... Tivoli Gardens will have something to try and counter that for sure. Whether or not it will work is left to be seen. They're playing a team that has won the title seven times in the last nine season um, consecutively from 2013 to 2017. This Jamaica College team knows how to win. I heard their, their head coach Ferguson saying that they want to play or they play attractive football. Uh, you know, in the last couple of seasons, they've been pragmatic as best. And I remember 2019 getting to the semifinals on two points and really, really carving their way out. Last season, it wasn't as prolific in terms of how attractive it was easy on the eye. Maybe there's something that he's bringing different this season, having also lift the Premier League title as an assistant coach at Mount Pleasant. So maybe other things in his repertoire at this moment. We are about to find out the defending champions, Jamaica College, 31 times the winners of this prestigious urban area schoolboy football title in the land of wood and water they take on tivoli two-time champions of the manning cup they are the defending walker cup knockout champions but they will want so much more than the walker cup this campaign their coach christopher nicholas has worked assiduously in pre-season and they feel that they are ready to show that they are very much capable of challenging the best in this competition. You know, having won the Walker Cup, for them, it would have given them a big boost. And they come into this game, you feel, with a lot more confidence than they would if they had come in not as a defending champion. And on their way to that Walker Cup, and beating teams like St. George's College, who has a lot of pedigree, and Eli Selassie in the final, I, I think they come into this game not fearing this Jamaica College team. And um, on the evidence of a lot, as I said, um, Clarendon College was among the teams that they really had a good pre-season against. Um, was 4-0 and then I think it ended up 6-0 at the end of the game against a Clarendon College team that we saw today that demolished Lennon by five goals to nil. Not much they say to read into pre-season as coaches, but still for them coming into this game, it would help their confidence for sure, Tivoli. We are about to get the kickoff. Jamaica College in their familiar dark blue and white Tivoli Gardens, orange and black. <laughs> A 
And it's Hamilton. Sends the game on its way. The defending champions, Jamaica College versus the defending Walker Cup champions, Tiffany Gardens High. And as you would expect, Jamaica College with the early position. The coach, Davian Ferguson, pointed out in the build-up to this one that they prepare a team to peak at the back end of the campaign. And if you look at the way they've gone, especially in recent years, they can be vulnerable at the start of the season. In fact, they have drawn three of their last five opening matches. And even last season, when they beat a hapless St. Mary's College by 13 goals to nil in their opener, and they promptly followed that with a nil-all draw against the St. Catherine. So maybe what you're saying here, it's probably the best time here for Tivoli to be facing them with the confidence coming in as a defending champion as well and having a decent preseason. So uh, three points possibly on the card for them. It's a big jump. It's a big leap knowing that the best results they've had against Jamaica College uh, has been four goals to nil as a loss. That's the best because they've conceded a lot more um, when we look at the stats book from dating from 2012 to now. So for those four games between 2013 and 2014, two games each season, they've lost all of those four games. Yeah, a long time ago that though, and this Tivoli Gardens team significantly better than those setups as that Jamaica College looked to come forward. But also, some would argue that this Jamaica College team nowhere near as good as those teams between 2013 and 2015. And as we can see here, they did have, and what they're playing with this Tivoli Gardens team are some wing backs who go into midfield. So on the attack, it's, it's five in the middle of the park and, and I'm pretty sure it will morph even further into four in attack. So on the defensive end, we just saw a line of five so there's two wide midfielders drop into the back line and make it five. So it looks like a 5-3-2. But in attack, it certainly can look like a more so a... Yeah, there's the Jamaica College head coach, Davian Ferguson, has spent three, t three seasons with <laughs> this team. Two Manning Cup titles, one... Champions Cup title in his fourth season with them now. And uh, you pointed to it earlier, Dwight Jeremiah. In my opinion, very good returns, but if you listen to a lot of the noise, it would suggest that his place at Jamaica College is always somewhat tenuous. I remember when he won it last time, a lot of fans said, had he not win it uh, that time, then he would have been a goner. Um, and yes, he had won before, even when they were saying that. And I guess it's the brand of football. Tivoli Gardens looking to head forward and they will have a free kick. But in his pre-game interview, Ricardo did say he's looking to play attractive football. Shakuel Henry trying to break free from that left side, taken down, and Tivoli with an opportunity to get the ball inside the box. Shane McIntosh. Standing over it, 18 years old now, part of the setup last season, helped them to that Walker Cup title. In fact, an important member of the back line. Here he is stepping up with this free kick for Tivoli. Interesting setup here for Jamaica College. They've gone for even numbers in the box and committed five up the field looking to go on the counter. Normally you want numbers up when you're defending like that, but it's 6v6, pretty much in there. McIntosh delivers a good ball to the back post, headed back inside, and the clearance comes. Francis there lighting up the stadium already as the lights come on. Well, given away dangerously, the cross comes in, there's a great chance, a 1-0, brilliant save. Was right at him, but he had to go low down to make the stop. That was Giovanni Taylor there, 
does take it down and just in one motion looking to just shoot just pivot and turn there just as on the half volley but the keeper was well positioned there comes in with a lot of confidence giovanni taylor having healthy jamaica under 15 team to the semi-finals of the concacaf summer tournament and gets his first shot on target in the manning cup sign of things to come It's so certainly the indication from early here, uh, living up to what uh, Coach Ferguson said, that he's looking to play attractive, as I said, in that free kick for Tivoli Gardens. Had three players committed upfield, ready to go on the counter, looking to have outlets. Tivoli had to take back three players to ensure that they could match up in that regard. I think Jamaica College would have known that they had to come into this maybe sharper than they have been for other opening games. They head forward again. King loses possession. Logan picks out King once again. Great work from John. His cross is cleared away. Started on the bench, Dylan John, in the Manny Cup final last season. Malachi Sterling for Jamaica College. All the way back to his goalkeeper, Lynch. Talk about Sterling with his exploit for Mount Pleasant as well. Experience in him. A very good left foot on him. A decent pace to the start of the game, Ricardo. Um, I guess, too, you can't say compare it with the first game uh, between Clan and College and Lennon not only the disparity in the two teams but the conditions under which they they played that game was really hot this is cool conditions and really conducive to this speed of play that we're seeing here taylor for jamaica college not the most pristine national stadium surface that we have seen. Of course, the venue I've watched with activity lately. Dwight Jeremiah was here enjoying the Chris Brown concert. He was also here for the Nations League match between Jamaica and Honduras last night. And for sure, he'll be back on Tuesday for the Nations League match between Jamaica and Haiti. That's more like my team you saw, Ricardo. Christopher Nicholas, the Tivoli Gardens head coach, has won the Manning Cup as a player. Premier League, he's won that as well, has gone to the under-20 World Cup with the national team. A lot of experience to impart to his players. Yeah, you'd feel that that is definitely the case, the fact that he would have played so many levels also encountering different coaches different style and so he can form his own style and maybe a combination of all the coaches that he has worked with Watson for Roden Tivoli looking to put passes together Watson again his pass has too much weight on it and it can't be pulled in by Ryan and Neil Francis, sporting the number seven for Tivoli. One of the new names in the starting lineup for this Tivoli outfit. And he looks to be a very good ball handler too. But Tivoli showing that they can play through the press as I alluded to in my opening comments. And also the ability to sit deep and then go on the counter as we see five in defense at times. 
Well, that was some intervention because Taylor was breaking free. And it will be the first corner kick of the contest. Yeah, it was Dave Campbell who got a, a boot to that one, but advancing was his goalkeeper there. And in that moment, there was no indication, no communication from, from the goalkeeper coming. And that could have gone anywhere. Would have definitely been caught out at that one being on, on goal. Corner kick for Jamaica College. 11th minute of the contest, searching for the opening goal. This one headed back inside. Oh, trouble. And uh, looks as if there is a head injury here. Shane McIntosh is up though. And ready for battle. Now let's have a second look here to see what might have happened. Oh, there's Hamilton, yeah. Can't fault the referee there for seeming a bit frantic because it did look like it was worse than it actually did turn out to be. Yeah, Amarley King clattered into him. And he was so close to the upright. I guess it wasn't clear for that Hamilton whether or not he had hit his head in that pose. A lot of the key men for Tivoli operating on the left side of midfield. Now here they are on the right with Spence spreading it forward. Watson was trying to win it but didn't have success. Now JC can escape. Garrick inside the box for Taylor. Wasn't given the room to turn, but JC still with possession with Dylan John. Ran right into Dave Campbell, who has had a couple important interventions so far in the first 13 minutes of this Manning Cup opener. JC just starting to string a few passes together now. It's a lot the ball over the top, but Shakur Adair alert to the danger. Always very difficult to study and this Jamaica College team. They don't always put out their best possible lineup. And uh, Coach Davian Ferguson especially is quite calculated as JC head forward once again with a Marley King. Now a little bit of space opening up for Tiffany Gardens. If they can transition quickly. Saw the goalkeeper off his line and decided to attempt a shot, but it was well over the top. His intention was quite good. I just think it was about the execution that was off. But yeah, goalkeeper sort of overcompensated, just came a little bit too high in that six yard box and was looking to catch him out. But there's a little evidence of Tivoli Gardens in transition uh, quite quick. And then we can see them going back to looking to play between the lines as well. They clearly know what they are about, this Tivoli Gardens team. But so too, Jamaica College. That makes for a fabulous opening game. They have quality on this left side, Tivoli. Henry, Chakuel Henry plays that left side. Oh, chance to run at the defenders. Pretty solid defending, ultimately, 
Yeah, I had to get that one right because he was in the box. Uh, but he certainly got it right on the evidence of that play that we saw. First glance looked to be a clean one. Adet Hamilton also agrees. All ball given away, and fortunately, Taylor falling over. Well, just outside the box, but yeah, maybe on the looking at that replay, seems as if he got a little of the player there, or the shin of the player. It would have been a penalty anyway because it was out the box. It wouldn't have been a penalty. No, wouldn't have been. 16th minute of this contest. Still no goals at the National Stadium. On the lights, opening game of the Issa Manning Cup season for 2023. Jamaica College in possession with Dante Logan. They certainly know how to spread this football. But Tivoli Gardens equal to every attack so far. Yeah, Tivoli, you pretty much feel like this is an even contest so far. I mean, both teams giving as much as they have gotten from each other. Inside the box, taken by Taylor. Tivoli soaking up some pressure and now coming away with Henry. Possession lost. Oh, this is good work. This is brilliant work. But the final shot lets him down. The ball got away from him. Yeah, it was King there just really just going on a measly run here. And just at the end here, didn't make proper connection with that left boot. A goalkeeper had gone already to groan. He made a firm connection, could sneak in at that near post, but that was a, a very good penetrative run from King. Marley King showing some real quality there. Now Tivoli going the other end. Flag is up offside, hits the back of the net, but it won't count, and that's why. Yeah, it, you know, got away Jamaica College with two things. Yes, it was a good line held there, but also the defender was, was tugging on the, on the jersey of Henry, and had not been offside, it would have been a call for the assistant to make. Here they come again with Dylan John. Inside the box. Here's a chance. Still a chance for King. Brilliantly blocked. Might have been Froden who made himself big inside the area. JC really probing and asking some serious questions of the Tivoli defense now. Yeah, I think Garrick is the player there that really um, took too long on it. Just wanted about three touches to get his shot away. Should have just gone with a, a first touch, second shot. One or two touches, you're not going to get a lot of time in the box, especially when you're playing a decent outfit. And Tivoli is a decent outfit. Just try to take too much touch there, Gary. Not afforded such luxury. Jamaica College. Building confidence now. Another ball over the top, but the flag is up for offside they've not been afraid to utilize that ball so far looks like a plan it certainly is and it's more so to that right side because that's where the extra player has come from to join the attack to make it four and that's four three three becomes a three three four when they attack and it's the right side which the player comes from to join uh, just coming out of midfield with one of the defenders stepping into the midfield and that's all this attacking formation or shape you'd call it for Jamaica College is Tivoli stealing the ball in the middle of the park but can they maintain possession they'll with a free kick Malachi Rose 
boot it down on that occasion. Twenty minutes out the way. Jamaica College with a better opportunity so far. And here they come again. This is two on two. JC with 58% of the possession. The ball here's a chance for John. Adair there again to deny Dylan John. Yeah, they're really changing, turning the gears now, Jamaica College. Um, successive attacks after attack, but yeah, give the keeper a lot of credit. Really anticipated quite well, came out and made himself quite big. The touch from John wasn't the crispest, and it did allow Adir a chance to smother, which he did. Twenty second minute corner kick for Jamaica College. This one is high and away from the target. And it will be a throw for Tivoli Gardens coming up. just been pegged back a bit uh, had a serious attack in a, for a while throughout of the last five seasons Jamaica College have drawn their opening match of the campaign Started in 2017, a 1-0 draw against San Andrew Technical. In 2018, a 1-0 draw against Heidel. And in 2021, they had a nil all draw with Calabar. Of course, last season, they won 13 nil in their opener against St. Mary's College. But then in the second game of their season, uh, they had a nil all draw with St. Catherine. Actually, had two drawn results in the opening goal with St. Catherine. But one thing we've learned about Jamaica College over the years, Dwight Jeremiah, is that they get to, they tend to get stronger as the season goes on. And you can not discredit the fact as well that they don't always put out all their best players at the start of the campaign. And they are slowly integrated into the setup over the course of the season. We've seen that from time to time. Yeah, I think you're right with that. Uh, for today, I think they have gone with a fairly strong team because I think they recognize, and you were alluding to it, that they would have recognized that their opener this time around, they would have had to be having a little bit more pep in their step to deal with this Tivoli Gardens team because it's not a secret. They would know a little bit of what has been going on in the preseason and recognize that this Tivoli team is not to be compared maybe with some of the opening games they've had in the past. Twenty fourth minute. No goals yet. Jamaica College heading forward with Logan. Oh, this is a chance. Glorious chance. Oh, what a brilliant save. Another chance coming up. But the whistle goes. 
Shakur Adir has been brilliant. The flag up finally. Oh, that was a spectacular save. Here's another look at it. I think it was a double save by him. If we look here, first one and then did it come off? Yes, he recovered quickly to get back to his lines. A really, really agile goalkeeping here. A lot of goalkeeper will make a save and they take a long time to get back to their feet. Not a dare on that occasion. He was way up the park, almost about 15, 16 yards out, and then got back to about three yards in about three seconds or less. I think the second attempt, which came from Thierry Garrick, the whistle had already gone, yeah, but perhaps. the first from Giovanni Taylor would definitely have counted. What a superb save. Early candidate for player of the match, Shakur Adir. Most definitely. Tivoli looking to mount an attack of their own, and this could be dangerous. Oh. Yeah, just stepped at the ball, step on the ball at a crucial point there. Just wanted to get it under his spell. Magic wasn't enough. Macintosh for Tivoli. Tivoli not afraid to play through the press. Still, Jamaica College recognized that they had them on the back foot for a minute there and just wanted to see if they could win it out of the park. But Tivoli not phased by it. In the end, winner, one of free kick. Twenty-eighth minute of this Manning Cup opener at the National Stadium. No goals yet. But we've had quality saves from Tivoli Gardens goalkeeper Shakur Adir. Yeah, certainly has been the standout player. And if he were to be man of the match, it wouldn't have harbored well for Tivoli because it means that he, they would have been on the back foot for most of this encounter. They'd want that to change and not have Adir call into question so often. Tivoli heading forward once again. That may well count as a shot on target, but it wasn't much of a problem for Lynch. Romain Spence for Tivoli. Henry has a free kick. Shaquel Henry, the Tivoli number 11. Didn't score many goals last season, Tivoli Gardens, but they didn't concede many either. And they could have conceded tonight, it's just to the brilliance of Adair. So defensively, not at the races, uh, up to par as much as they'd want, but you suspect it's a team that will get better in that regard as the season progresses. Malachi Rose stands over this one. We are about to hit the half an hour mark. Speak to be Daniel Watson. Yeah, Daniel Watson, actually, who is standing over it. Watson steps up and has struck it wide with the left boot. Didn't seem to have the type of conviction we know he usually has. Nor did the team have any creativity, as we saw in the opening game from Clarendon. 
with a, a four-touch pass goal from a set piece. That one was just a direct attempt at goal. Logan always looking for that long ball, easily cut out this time. Oh, JC. Taylor lays it off. This one out to Garrick. Garrick. JC showing some patience here, but they lose possession of the ball. I love the ball slip through. Taylor. Sets the call for the cross. There's a shot off the crossbar. That was pretty close. Well, Jabari Howell yeah. with the left-footed strike. Here is Taylor, cuts inside on the right foot. His shot is blocked. Jamaica College really probing here and creating opportunities as well, but somehow it's still nil all in the 32nd minute. That's the closest they have come to scoring here, and they've had many good look-ins here, Jamaica College. That one, Adair beating all ends up, and his best friend, one-off, bailed him out in the crossbar. Look here, smart take and then a rifle with the left. Took with the right, then rifled with the left. That was a good strike. Yeah, beating all ends up there, dear. Not for the lack of trying, but it was just a pure, decent strike. Jamaica College really causing them all sorts of issues here. Lots of rotation that we're seeing. And even when they push high, uh, their goalkeeper in Lynch, he does know that he has to push with the team and is the ultimate sweeper keeper. When he intercepted the ball there, he was probably some 10 yards out of his 18 yard box. Maybe a little bit disappointed, at least on my end, with the support for the opening day of this competition. Yeah, I could have and, and, and should have had more, but you know one of the things with it too as well there are other games being played today in the costa cup as well we have a fair beta uh, at teams in the stands yeah you uh, are talking about three teams that won titles last year though <laughs> that's true. college jamaica that's college true. and tivoli gardens high so mm -hmm. you would expect opening day of a, a new season to see more fans in the stands that's true that's true i've seen some players in there the team from St. James High there, there as well. Edwin Allen seemed to be in there, I think. Yeah, also, of course, so Craig Butler and some of his Mona boys, Dijon Whisper Richards, who turned out for the Reggae boys last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw them too against as well. Against Honduras in the yeah. inside the stands as well. Thought he might have watched it from his hotel room <laughs> tonight, but I guess Just want not some fresh air. <laughs> and why not? <laughs> right on. And I must say a few of my boys are here too, William Nibbs. So, yeah. It's supported from the West, I'm, I'm, you know, but a lot more could have been. JC heading forward once again. This is Taylor. Logan. Love the ball delivered. Shot is blocked. Powell sends it long. And this time, Adair has no issues. Craig Butler in all white. Dijon Whisper Richards to his left. Nearly had a goal last night, Whisper. Had a decent chance, but didn't get on the score sheet. John battling for it, loses out Tivoli away. He did complain yesterday, he did Butler about not getting complimentary tickets for that game. Only if he got for today's game. <laughs> a 
no comment. 36th minute, still no goals. JC have gotten close though, on a few occasions. And the first card will come out and it will go to Thierry Carrick, the Jamaica College number 11. He had a good sight to a goal, but took a while to get his shot away. And it was eventually closed down. And yeah. this time he was late. Very, very late and he just left the ground a bit. So a little bit reckless there and this could have done the anchor. And the player is still down. Uh, yeah, the anchor. That's the area where you could see all of the studs showing on that challenge. Kimani O'Sullivan is on the sidelines. Let's find out what he has for us. Hey, thank you, guys. I was actually having a listen to the huddles during the water break there, and I must say, Tivoli Gardens in their huddle, Christopher Nicholas, he was having a loud conversation with his midfielders. He was upset with the amount of space the Jamaica College players were receiving. On the other hand, the Jamaica College team, I must say, Coach Ferguson, he was having a small talk with his, attack, with his attackers. Also, I must say, Coach Raymond Watson, he is a cool figure on the, on the sideline there. And I'm sure it's a cagey affair, and I'm sure they'll be making a lot of adjustments. Back to you guys. Last season, they were opposing coaches. Of course, Davian Ferguson was the head coach at Jamaica College. Raymond Watson was the head coach of Kingston College. Vassar Reynolds has now taken over at Kingston College. And uh, Raymond Watson has joined the cast at Jamaica College as the assistant to Davian Ferguson. Everything heard from Kimani there when he said he was a calm figure, knowing what's not normally <laughs> calm associated with him, but maybe what he's seen on the evidence of what he's seen, seen his team is dominating here. And he spoke about Tivoli being a bit upset with the midfield. I think that it's not just pace, it's the fact that Jamaica College in their shape in attack goes to a 3-3-4 and a defender will join in the middle of the park and the rotation takes place with another player pushing from midfield. Very often we see Howell going out wide and at times in their, their makeup we see I think it's Logan as well from the defense that joins in. So it's, it's the rotation and players popping up in the middle of the park that Tivoli Gardens might be having a little problem um, tracking and, and, and keeping pace with. Officials from the Intersecondary School Sports Association, including the president, Keith Wellington. Behind him as well, the president of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, Garth Gale. They haven't really had any clear-cut opportunities, Tivoli. Mm. Didn't have any power on that one, but Lynch was a bit concerned there, Ricardo, I think just the direction he was a bit more to his right and that one as we see here just going away to his left there wasn't quite sure where his upright was malachi rose it might have been who got the right-footed effort away as we approach the 40th minute of this contest we knew it would be a close one based on everything that happened in pre-season based on the number of players returning for this Tivoli Garden setup from their Walker Cup Sutcher in last season. But Jamaica College, always tough to beat, no matter how good you are. They have a fabulous program coming through the U14s, U16s, and they also have an impressive recruitment system in place as well that makes them always difficult at this level and here i go further and say a supporting cast off the field with a lot to offer where these players are concerned 
Logan lost position in the middle. Lynch well outside his box to make that clearance for it's, JC. It's the second time we've seen him come that far. Just goes and comes with his team. Haven't got that ball over the top right yet, Jamaica College, but it's a play that they've employed quite a lot. They have possession once again. King. Not handling the ball well, Tivoli Gardens, and they lose possession once more. For the first minute, no goals, nil all. And it was Francis on that occasion who tried to use the wrong part of that foot to control it. Freaky coming up for JC. Johnson. They'll have a throw. I think as we approach half time. Of the gardens, if it stays this way, you feel that they're happy of the two teams. Howell loses out to Watson. Tivoli trying to break, and they can do so quickly. This is good football from Tivoli. Oh, that is not a great final pass. They had it all set up. Yeah, there was evidence of what we spoke about earlier that lightning quick counter attack. They sit deep and then they spring that. They had outlets and runners, just not the quality to match. The ball delivered inside the area. Oh, what a glorious chance that was. It was a peach of a ball and somehow Ryan and Neil Francis couldn't turn it towards goal. Just need to get it across goal because Johnson, Dwayne Johnson was there waiting for a pass. Would have been a tap-in for him. Here is Henry. Looks a pretty good player on the football. Check well, Henry. But JC away now. Marley King has shown speed and skill already this evening. Tivoli inside the box. Chance to get the cross in. Oh, it's pushed too wide by the defender there. Good defending. And that was a lovely ball from Daniel Watson. Yeah, and you felt any real good contact on that one would turn it across the six yard box. And Johnson was just waiting. That pass never came. That was a good moment for Tivoli. And that's a warning for Jamaica College for all the chances that you've gotten not taken. Tivoli, they do carry a threat. Yellow card for Tawani Lynch, the Jamaica College goalkeeper, as we approach half time in this one. I think for sure, if the scoreline stays as is, Tiffany Gardens will be the happier of the two teams heading to the break. Yeah, certainly, because they've been pegged in a lot. They've given up a lot of chances to Jamaica College. Their goalkeeper in Adair had to be called in on many occasions, had to come up big for them. Uh, so they will feel a bit fortunate, Jamaica College a bit unfortunate that they had not 
but they haven't taken the lead. Hit the crossbar as well. Free kick coming up for Jamaica Cottage. Three minutes added on at the end of the first half. Can they find the opener, the defending champions? Delivery picks on Carrick! Oh, that's a brilliant turn and a superb strike! Theory Garrick puts Jamaica College in front! The champions signal their readiness for the 2023 campaign. It's 1-0. That's certainly intentional there. It was played short to that near post. And the two coaches, they're embracing each other because that seemed to have come straight off the training ground. Straight into Garrick, yeah. Didn't look to go over the top there, straight into him, and then uh, to allow him to turn there. And that was too easy, I think, on the, on the evidence of that replay. It was Tate who backed off just a step or two, and Garrick obliged and really, really rifled that one pass. A hapless deer at that near post really couldn't stop that one. It flew past him before he could realize a shot was on, but certainly wouldn't be pleased with the protection he got from Tate in front of him. Deshaun Tate there, just a load Garrick, just an extra yard of pace, a space, and he obliged, he really took it. Really smart finish. Jeva Carnden in the 36th minute, he scores in first half stoppage time. And Jamaica College have the lead. And now Tivoli Gardens will have to score at least one. And that is a look of concern on the face of Christopher Nicholas, the Tivoli Gardens head coach. Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to take because you as a coach, when you see something and you look back at it and you realize it was so preventable, it wasn't an act of brilliance. The defender was right there when the pass came in. He couldn't stop him from get it. All he had to do was to stop him from turn and shoot. And he allowed him to do the two at the end there, turn and shoot. And as you see, it resulted Jamaica College taking the lead. Had an opportunity earlier, Theory Garrick, where he didn't get the shot off quickly enough. Can't be accused of that on that last occasion. And Davian Ferguson with a smile up off his bench. Knew coming into this one that they would have a difficult opener. But they have looked the better team and now they have the goal to prove it as well. Yeah, from open play, they were quite good carved out a lot of, 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 lot of opportunities uh, but their goal came from a set piece first half isn't done yet Logan sets this one inside the box here is Taylor the left footed shot block comes up to King and this one oh that could have been problematic for Adair he did well did very well Jen. did very well Ricardo for a moment there but the lines the assistant referee was well positioned. We have a look here. Let's see. Isn't he harmless? Then, yeah, I think he, I think he, he's, he's okay with that one. Really okay with that one. Caught it in front of the line and then bending back didn't go over the line. At least not all of the ball. And the, the assistant referee was well pleased. That's how we finish the first half in the Manning Cup opener. Terry Carrick's first half stoppage time call, the difference so far. And that is a happy bunch of true blues because they have a wonderful advantage, a lot for Tivoli Gardens to think about. They were hoping to hold on to that Nilo scoreline at the end of the first half, but it's not to be. The Jamaica College coaching staff they just having a discussion before they go into the room to speak with the with the, the, the team. Half time, Jamaica College one, Tivoli nil.
So much good boy football action coming up on your home of champions, SSFL, on Wednesday starting at 2.30 p.m., 3.30 Eastern Caribbean time with San Juan North taking on St. Benedict's College. It's at the Costa Cup action next Saturday, 1 p.m., 2 ECT, Porus versus Old Harbour. I think this is probably the first time we're going to see Porus live. And Glenn Muir will take on Central. That's also next Saturday, the second encounter of the day. That should be a really good one. Back at the National Stadium for the Manning Cup opener. Remember earlier, Clarendon College beat Lennon by five goals to nil. As we open the Da Costa Cup season, a few other Da Costa Cup matches happen today as well. Ricardo Chambers alongside Dwight Jeremiah for this one. Yeah, Ricardo, you talk about some of the games that were played today. You mentioned the Clarendon College one, other games played today. Home Technical, they played Merlin Naughty. They won that one by three goals to one. And Cambridge took on Rasiz High at home. Rasiz run away with that one. 6 1 winners. The teams you'd expect to win. They won an win. opening day in the Da Costa Cup. Tiffany Gardens not out of this one yet at the National Stadium. But they know they have an uphill battle. They have to figure out a way to create chances. They need at least one to get level in this contest. And Jamaica College have shown that they have a few of them in them because although it's just one nil, it could easily have been two or three as the Dark Blues re-enter the National Stadium as they get ready for second half action. Yeah, I think Tiffany Gardens, they'll need to just do some things better. And that's easier said because, yeah, they're down a goal. But the best they've looked and, and, and threatened this Jamaica College team is when they play with that counter-attack, that break after sitting deep, soaking the pressure, or, or from having to defend from successive pressure or attacks from Jamaica College. They break out and the transitional play has looked good. It's just the final quality uh, with the final pass or just before the penultimate pass maybe that they, they let themselves down. But I think they can hurt this Jamaica College team or cause them concern if they can improve the quality with those transitional play. Ryan O'Neill Francis, the number seven there for Tivoli, one of their influential players. I tell you something, Dwight Jeremiah, from a commentary standpoint, the Jamaica College jerseys are awful. It is so difficult to see those numbers. You get a close-up here now, and yes, you see it, but outside of that, goodness me, so much going on. And it's almost as if they're attempting to hide those numbers. Yeah, with that close-up, fine. You may say, okay, what are we are complaining about, but you know at times from angles or or a distance it is the fact that some of those numbers do get lost especially with the double numbers and you may not see one clearly um Tivoli a little bit better but yet still you don't have that solid background color behind the number it's always you know a lot of uh, activities going on behind the numbers and that may distract us from that but maybe they need to consult as we said earlier in the broadcast with the oh you had this team. conversation earlier yeah we did with donald when we were doing the the current numbers were difficult to see my apologies for bringing <laughs> it up again <laughs> it can't be brought up often enough until we have a change of it getting ready for the start of the second half in this manning cup opener jamaica college leading tivoli gardens by a goal to nil You feel for Jamaica College as we get 
Tivoli Gardens got get us on the way. For Jamaica College, it's more about being more clinical in the final third because they continue to create chances. And if Tivoli can be a little bit tighter and, and sort of suffocate Jamaica College in the middle third, it does not give them the opportunity to play through that third, then it could be better. Jamaica College with John gets tackled up by Roden. And it's a corner kick coming up for Jamaica College. Tivoli Gardens, they have made one substitution. Johnny Smith, the number 12, comes on in place of Deshaun Tate. Yeah, not surprising that they took Tate out because I guess in a changing room, he might have been the one that they were accusing of causing the goal to score. Yes, he was the one who was given the duty to take care of Garrick. Corner kick for JC. Howell now for Jamaica College. They'll need to figure out how to create chances, Tivoli. Yeah, I think they're having some difficulty playing through the, J the, the, the JC press. Davian Ferguson in his fourth season. The man on the left as the Jamaica College head coach. Of course, there we did not have schoolboy football in 2020 for obvious reasons. So he started in 2019 taking over from Andrew Peart, who completed a winless 2018 season, which is a rarity for Jamaica College. Andrew Peart, now the man in charge of the Glenmuir setup, and we'll see them next Saturday in that 3.30 game. A bit careless there from Roden, but yeah, um, Jamaica College there. They like to go on runs when they win titles. They've won seven of the last 10 Manning Cup titles, Jamaica College. As I pointed out at the top serial winners of this competition, 31 times the champions. JC with Howell. Spurts it left side. King was trying to create a little bit of magic and he has the ability to do that to Marley King. Yeah, we saw him on some amazing run in that first half. And it's pretty much where we left off, left off in the first half with JC being the main protagonist. They're, they're the ones who are pushing it. Tivoli will want to know, work on their transitional game. Giovanni Taylor, the number 10 for Jamaica College, national under 15 player. Many feel he could become a real superstar of the Manning Cup and schoolboy football in general. Free kick coming up for JC. Johnson standing over it. JD Johnson. His delivery comfortably cut out by Shaquille Henry. for a penalty handball was the cry not given Sterling Henry swings it over onto the right Tivoli can go forward three inside the box waiting but the cross is too close to Lynch yeah, and that's when they look their most dangerous, Tivoli, on that counter in the attacking transitional phase, looking to catch Jamaica College out because they do commit at least four in the attacking third Jamaica College, with two or three lurking behind. So if they can bypass those numbers, then they could get a run at this back line. Have to be more clinical than that, though, when they get into those positions. Here is Watson did provide one beautiful pass in the first half. 
but he is a danger man for this Tivoli team. There he is, Daniel Watson, their number 10, scored five goals for them last season, their leading goal scorer. And was brilliant in the Walker Cup final. JC with John. Gets at the edge of the box. That's good defending. Excellent defending. Yeah, really good defending there. Looked to have been McIntosh who made the recovery run. The goal scorer, Gary, steps this one through. Here's a chance. And once again, a dare to nice Taylor, who must be wondering what he has to do to beat this man. Yeah, he's been superb. I mean, very little you felt he could have done with the goal that was core. Yes, at his near post, but it was a, 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 a fair shot. Again, he has the ability to really smother attackers. He reads the game really well, and he leaves his line, his decision making to leave his line has been impeccable so far corner kick coming up for jamaica college johnson with the delivery once again away from the target and headed further away knocked back inside here's a chance brilliant save it was garrick again looking for his second of the night lovely reflex save from adair and kept it under his control as well yeah, reflex, yeah, but also positioning was, was excellent there from Adair. He's having a peach of a night. And deserve, if not him alone, deserve to get something from this game. Speaks volume to the Tivoli Gardens defense, letting in so many chances of Jamaica College being creative, but the more you look at it, it may look like it just hits straight at him, but his positioning was good. And he didn't create a spill. That was good, too, because it came at him very quickly, but was able to just smother it in front of him, just bounce it in front of him, and then gather. And nothing spilling for Jamaica College to feed off. Yeah, I think that is an important point, because he easily could have spilled that one from that position. Such close range. Handled it really well. The Tivoli Gardens coach, Christopher Nicola, still looking a little bit concerned, and you can understand why. Not only is he behind, but they're struggling to really threaten the Jamaica College goal, and that will be a big concern to him, and Jamaica College continues to threaten theirs. Let's see if they can create a moment, Tivoli. Lynch again off his line, not for the first time, not for the second time either, to effect the clearance. There's a neat delivery, but again, Lynch is alert. Looks a competent goalkeeper. Hasn't been severely tested. Yeah, one of those busy type, and he comes and goes with his team, which is good. As his team attack, he comes and they keep a high line. And that's what Tivoli has been trying to exploit, the space in behind. But he is the one that is denying them the opportunity to so do. But I think Tivoli has to change the strategy somewhat. Not that long ball over the top. Maybe play into those. Here is Howell inside the box looking for Garrick again. And Adair off his line and getting there first. Yeah, but more looking to play to the feet of the players in front of the, the Jamaica College defenders. And then play it back and then get it through with runners. More like this. Or just that pass. That was more like it. Get it up to the front men, then play it back, and then look to play the through ball up, back, and through. That looks like it's going to be a better ploy for Kit Tivoli. But still, the transitional phase has to be quick. 55th minute of the contest. Jamaica College still leading by a goal to nil. Over the top. Is this the chance? Did get a hand onto it, Adair. And that prevented it from going in definitely took some of the pace off it and once again taylor is denied yeah i thought for a moment that there that a deer was caught in no man's land he came and hesitated for the first time he looked like his decision was to come off the line was a little bit late and he got there and he just stood his ground and got a big hand to it and really decent save again let's look from this angle if it was going to sneak in 
might just be heading wide, but that was because of his intervention. And Marley King with the effort on this occasion. Yeah, you can never be too sure with those. Not at all. But, but were to he stay this way, Ricardo, and it's 1-0, yes, you've had some good play all round from Jamaica College, but Adair has put his hand up for being the player of the game even on the losing team, if it were to stay at 1-0, which means you wouldn't have had another great standout moment for Jamaica College for another player to put their hand up from there. Yeah, definitely has put him, put himself in the conversation as a contender for player of the match and a few of the dignitaries here, J3 is president, is a president and chairman of both the Costa and Manning Cup. Yeah. So Albert Courcher there as well, the former principal of Calabar High School. Gather, gather he's now at Bethlehem College. And rumors swirling that he may have brought a big name coach with him. Not a football coach though, but that's for a that's a discussion for another day. Timothy Gardens in possession, but only momentarily. They lose out. This is Garrick, the goal scorer for JC. McIntosh in the way for Tivoli. He's not had a bad night, McIntosh, in the back line for Tivoli. Here is Watson. Needs support around him, though. That pass always gave an opportunity to the Jamaica College defense. We've seen two yellow cards in this one already. We won't see a third for that challenge. No, it was way up the pitch, and maybe that's what helped him out. It wasn't deeper. But yeah, he was frustrated with the pass that he made early and his teammate didn't help him. As you were saying, he needed more help around him. Just needed to come inside and check in for that pass, but he's looking to run in behind. And, and sometimes you have to come short and just go across the defender and then make your run. And that's what Watson was hoping his teammate would have done. But he's certainly a silky smooth customer in the middle of the park. And Tivoli looking to get Goldburn ready. 58th minute of the contest, Tivoli in possession. They don't tend to keep it long though. Garrick for JC. Stolen. Tivoli can attack quickly on the counter. That won't get the job done. Yeah, a bit ambitious there. And we just spoke about Lynch being not tested, but looked like he's a good goalkeeper. Henry, Shaquille Henry was on the far side, and he dinked a pass over to him, had enough time to take a first touch and then shoot. And there we have the St. James High team in the house. And they have journeyed from Montego Bay to be here to support the opening. It was Ryan and Neil Francis who felt ambitious in going for that shot trying to claim the glory not to be yeah. might be a spectacular moment though that gets them back into this contest Tivoli let's also not forget that in the Walker Cup final last year they went behind but they hung around didn't give up a second goal and then got the equalizer here is an opportunity chance oh another superb save it was a Marley King again, rushing inside the box. Firing hard and low. And still couldn't get it by Shakur Adir. Yeah, Adir again being big. And his defender was right there, but he felt he had to come to assist. And as a shot went off, yeah, with his leg this time. But again, another big save by Adir. He's frustrating the Jamaica College attackers for sure. Definitely frustrating Amari King. He's frustrated Giovanni Taylor. And for a moment there, he had he was frustrating Garrick earlier. Uh, did stop a shot from Garrick, but in the end, Garrick's thunder shot at his near post. Couldn't react in time. And let down by his defender in front of him 
Mr. Sean Tate, who has since exited the park. It's been quite a night for this young man, and it's far from over, just 60 minutes gone. Still half an hour to play, plus whatever is to be added on at the end of this. Yeah, again, a shot of the St. James Eye. Good friend of mine, AKA Coach Pencil, is the man in charge of St. James Eye. Former champion as well of the Da Costa Cup. It hasn't been a spectacular game. It's been okay. It's been okay. It's been okay. Fairly decent pace, not as electric, but it's a decent watch. Let me say that. Roden sends this long, too long. So the substitution there for Jamaica College. Garrett going out. Jamoy Dennis, the number 20 coming on. The goal scorer, who also picked up a yellow card, exits the contest. He's done his job. He's gotten Jamaica College the lead. And now they'll look to extend it or at least maintain. Yeah, always at 1-0, you feel. Every now and then, Tivoli show a little sign that they could, you know, hurt this Jamaica College team or cause them some concern. Here is the substitute, Dennis. Loses possession. Yeah, he's uh, going ahead of the ball, Dennis. <laughs> And then Roden ran out of real estate and gave back possession to JC. You know, every now and then, JC, they alternate sometimes. They're, they're 15 and number 17. They do go into the attack, into the midfield, pushing others. Sometimes they're a part of the front four. So a lot of rotation, different lines, and the, defense, the midfield line does not consist only of midfielders but defenders at times and the attacking line does contain defenders at times so uh, the distinct lines are there header towards the target he saved much more difficult shots than that that was comfortable that was a good delivery in the box and he ought to have done better with that header it's good delivery, found his target. And again, Tivoli would be disappointed with the fact that they allowed that to, to fall to a Jamaica College player. Looks quite comfortable, Davian Ferguson. Doesn't, hasn't seen enough from Tivoli to be really bothered. But he certainly would want a second goal to really fully calm the nerves. I'll put this one to bed, because he's not showing any nerves there. Yeah, pretty relaxed, and as he said so often in, in his interviews, this team is prepared to peak at the back end of the campaign when the Titans are on offer. So I don't think he will be too bothered regardless of the result tonight because he knows the quality is there to build momentum throughout the course of the campaign. Yes, you always want to start with a win, and they are on course for that, but ultimately there's a bigger goal. Here is Sears for... Jamaica College. Nicely into the middle for Howell. Howell leaves it for John. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Looking for John. Just had too many orange shirts around him. Out wide to the substitute, Dennis. has support well support was arriving but Roden got a touch onto it Howell lifts this one inside the box and John was arriving might have gotten a boot onto it but over the top and wide but another neat slick play coming from Jamaica College but another one that ends without a goal yeah I think it was Spence I mean Spence for Tivoli that really fell asleep and a load the number seven there, John, to sneak in. Almost 
had a goal scoring touch on that one. They just don't seem to have the numbers when they do go forward, Tivoli. Oh, the quality with the final pass, as we saw there, just not being able, compared with the pass we just saw from Jamaica College, from the defense, broke two lines, both midfield and the attacking line, just didn't make the most of it, Jamaica College. But that was a peach of a pass from, I think, Johnson. I think this will be the first corner kick of the contest for Tivoli Gardens, and it has come in the 66th minute. And Daniel Watson, no doubt the man who will be taking this one. Can they get something from set piece? They haven't been able to get anything from open play. Perfect opportunities to get numbers that you say you don't normally see from open play in the box. Five in the box. Here is Watson with the delivery. It's not a bad one. It was headed away by Johnson. Still Tivoli in possession. And they'll get a second corner kick. No, they won't. It's going to be a goal kick to Jamaica College. They seem to have cramps here. It looks close. There I... Lynch might not have been active enough, so he's getting some cramps here. Rolanda Stevenson, last season for Tivoli, had eight assists. He's no longer part of the setup as Malachi Rose exits and Dominique Goldborn comes on the number 17 for Tivoli. Well, when you lose a man who was your chief orchestrator of goals, if you haven't replaced him. Yeah, it's always a problem, and, and, and many teams struggle to find real good goal scorers. And at times, sometimes you can't replace that one player with another player. Sometimes you have to begin to, 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 to get your team to be more around and get more goals from midfield. Yeah, Stevenson, the chief assist maker last season with eight. And without that creativity, Tivoli will have to find a way to create more opportunities. Anthony Patrick. St. Catherine. Very much a man who has been around with a lot of success in urban area schoolboy football. Has Bridgeport, his, now St. Catherine High School. That has his charges in the house here supporting. Has won a Premier League title with Waterhouse as well. Tivoli in possession. And that's the thing. Not enough option when they're in the final third or enough movement to try and create opportunities to get the ball in those passing lanes. It's a bit static for Tivoli when they're in that final third. They have like three persons up there but not getting into passing lanes. Sometimes it's a lack of numbers, other times just too, just too static. Six to nine minutes on the clock, Theory Garricks. First off, stoppage time call, still the difference in this contest. One nil to Jamaica College over Tivoli Gardens. And we have not seen a dangerous shot towards the JC goal. There is Sears, their big number 16. Just struggling to penetrate the Jamaica College back line. Again, that final pass, Ricardo. And again, that's a little bit more of what we're saying, not to play over the top, but into the players who are just uh, pinning the JC defense line. Then they can play it back and then get a, a, a ball through, or they can, they can turn and then pass through 
really not happening with the final, but just the quality, the quality. JC will want at least one more. A really crunching challenge there, just with a high the quad. Yeah, it was Howell, the Jamaica College number 12, and a Johnny Smith, the Tivoli Gardens number 12, who came on as a substitute. And uh, King, Amari King is off, replaced by Dejani Thompson. Second substitution made by Jamaica College. Tivoli on the attack, though. They have a throw. Watson. Daniel Watson looks up and goes long once again. Throw inside the box. It's a chance for Tivoli, the boot. Oh, Dwayne Johnson getting onto it, but it was a team effort in the final analysis. But that was better from them, Tivoli. Here is Dennis for Jamaica College. John didn't collect cleanly, and now Tivoli come away with it. Tivoli Gardens looking to make something happen here. Here is Adil Francis! The left foot and effort just curled away from the target. Although one would like to think that Lynch had it covered at his near post. Yeah, Lynch certainly looked like he had it covered. One of the best moments for Tivoli in this game, but still not on target. And Lynch was certainly at his near post, stretching high, struggling a little bit with the cramp. Uh, just a little bit, Lynch he has represented the national setup at U14 and U17. Um, coming out of Mount Pleasant as well. Uh, Tevin Dixon, a coach there, his production. Atar Hutchinson at Arnett Gardens is another one of his production. Shamar Dash, also recently a member of the U15 team, coming out of that setup at Mount Pleasant as well. So Lynch certainly has some quality and has had good development as well. Here is Dennis for Jamaica College. Now with Taylor, lifts the ball inside. Headed away by Spence for Tivoli and then booted upfield. Dennis slips this one through. Oh, wow. Showing off <laughs> some skill. The goalkeeper, Shakur Adair. I tell you, I tell you, he certainly puts his hand up. I mean, he's such a calm customer as well. When he's called into action and his reflex needs him to be agile, he's been great. Taylor was looking to shoot from distance. Here's another save from Adair. Looked as if it was the substitute, Deshaunie Thompson, who got the shot away. 
Yeah, and he was the one who had the bad touch in the box just before that. Tivoli trying to get something going here. Here is Daniel Watson. Their big number 10. Has two on him. Oh, just brilliantly, almost. Yeah, he doesn't was, get the call. Yeah, he was looking to it suggest to the assistant that he was being held back. But just look here from Adir. Oops. Yeah, calm, composed, collective. And then making himself big again. Smart save to his left. I, I tell you, Ricardo, I, I, at this moment, unless something significant happen in this game, uh, I make him my player of the game. He has been excellent, no doubt about it. And he has made the difference between 1-0 and 3 or 4-0 here. Could be 5 or 6, eh? <laughs> Could keep counting. I was trying to be kind. <laughs> I'm just being realistic with what was... Um, Tivoli. They're still in this. They're still in this. Despite all of that, they are still in this. They have just under 15 minutes plus added time. And you see they're still in this record. If they were to get something from it, that number 40 is who they would have to tank for that. a little bit concerning to the coaching staff the technical team of jamaica college not with what tivoli is doing but what they're not doing in the final third jamaica college which is to put at least another one of these chances away tivoli on the front foot pass is not easy to find hold flank is up Seems she got that one right. He looked at the evidence of the first play there without even a replay that he did look like he was off. eighth minute of this encounter opening game of the 2023 is a Manning Cup season earlier today here at the National Stadium defending the Costa Cup champions Clarendon College beating Lennon the former Ben Francis Cup knockout champions by five goals to nil just one goal in the Manning Cup opener so far Tivoli looking for the second goal in the contest here is Neil Francis with a delivery looking for Watson. Watson couldn't climb high enough to get a header back inside or even on target. Yeah, just a bit too long for Watson. Watson had come in, just tucked in a little bit, but certainly a decent effort to try and get Watson going, but just too high. Tivoli looking to venture forward once again. They lose out in the middle of the park. Jamaica College now with John. Does well, Dylan John. Spreads it wide for Dejani Thompson. He gets taken down. But it was actually Jamoy Dennis who has switched flanks. He's gone over now onto that left wing. And wins a free kick for his team in the 80th minute. They can't do it from open play to get that second goal. They're going to try here now to see what they can conjure up for from this free kick. They can't commit as much player as they would like in the box because Tivoli have four players outside of the box looking to get onto the end of account. Sears with the delivery. It's a brilliant one! And the header is superb as well! Jamaica College go two clear. Javon Mills with a clinical header. And surely now the defending champions start their 23 campaign on a winning note.
Yeah, Mills now get on the score sheet and confirm it is the Mills that was at York Castle as well, now at Jamaica College. And he gets onto the score sheet, a scoring here in the Manning Cup, having come over from the DaCosta Cup. Smart header, and we just mentioned that they couldn't get it from open play, but that was a good header when you look at it. Going back a bit, have to redirect that one on goal. Always in the midst of traffic in executing that header. And to control it was a good, decent header from Mills. Excellent header indeed in the 80th minute for Javon Mills. And Jamaica College, they've acquired the services of two vital Yorkcastle players from last season. Adain Wilberforce, another one of those. Adain Wilberforce scored 16 goals for Yorkcastle last season. 13 in the DaCosta Cup, 3 in the Ben Francis knockout. And Javon Mills, such an important member of that setup for them. Significantly uh, depleted your castle set up this season and they have to build all over again and and if you ask me i wouldn't mind because i'm in a zone with your castle now so <laughs> <laughs> makes life a little easier, a little for easier. William, i don't think it's it's going to be very very easy but it makes it a little easy <laughs> so jamaica college helping you out after all yeah yeah 80 second minute jc leading by two goals to nil and based on how this one has played out they are very much on their way to all three points can't see tivoli coming back from here they have fought hard but they haven't produced the quality up front that it will require to break down this jamaica college unit quite an experienced player the jamaica college number six javon mills has Premier League experience as well. Yeah. So good players that they've acquired. A Tyreek Jones as well has come over from York Castle, not in the setup here, but another player that made his way to the Dark Blues. Tivoli came into this with high hopes of being able to topple the champions. Pointed out that Jamaica College have failed to win in three of their last five opening games. Three of the last five ending in draws. Well, now they'll have victory in three of the last six. Well, you did say in your opening comments that, yes, you get the feeling that for this one, though, they'll be a little bit sharper because of what they anticipated from, from a Tivoli Gardens team. Tivoli getting ready to make a substitution. Shamori Thomas, the number 21, will be entering the contest. And uh, he's replacing Dwayne Johnson. And they've been undone, Tivoli, from two set pieces. That will disappoint Christopher Nicholas a whole lot because they had an opportunity to set themselves up. Uh, it's not like they were retreating or recovering and trying to find uh, the correct recovery run. It was a set play that day on both occasions. One case in the, the opening goal, Tate did not mark well and stay with Garrick. On this occasion, they afforded Mills an opportunity to get a header where he should have been better challenged. Much to work on on the training ground. JC comfortable in the 85th minute. Davian Ferguson took charge of this team in 2019 after Andrew Peart had taken over as head coach from Miguel Coley. And just one season for Andrew Peart as head coach, a titleless season as well. And despite the fact that many fans of Jamaica College did not like the style of football that Davian Ferguson came with, they've won titles. Here is Francis with a cross inside and a timely intervention. 
coming in there from Malachi Sterling. Yeah, Shaquille Henry was just on his heels. Wasn't alert enough to, to really get that ball and allow the defender to recover and get a boot to it. I think Ferguson, and what you, you've mentioned there about not liking his style, maybe he came in and recognized that to make a college day will want to win titles and maybe it's damn if you do damn if you don't if he had played beautiful and not win they probably would have had a case uh, but he felt he wanted to go with winning first because they may not like it but he would say here's my title and they have not been able to to move him though some of them some of the fans were still disgruntled but they couldn't argue the fact that he was winning titles maybe now he can impose more of his style because he has shown that it's not a fluke one time two time well, he's a little bit more expansive on the evidence of what we've seen here. Jamaica College on the front foot once again. Thompson. Oh. Just taken special finishes to beat that man. We're starting this contest. Uh, with Tivoli Gardens. Since we look at the records book since 2012, had not won a game against Tivoli. No doubt, this has been one of their better performances. But it's far from over. And this time, I think the yellow card will come out. Doesn't matter that it was some way up the field. The substitute Goldburn seeing yellow. Yeah, too blatant, cynical there. So, yeah, quite rightly so. But I was saying that at Tivoli, we look at the records. And we'll get back to that after the app moment. Yeah, the Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. And this was a double save from the Tivoli Gardens goalkeeper, Shakur Adair, first denying Shiovani Taylor, and then Thierry Garrick. Absolutely brilliant. The second save, it might not have mattered because the whistle went for offside, but still absolutely superb. It's been a wonderful night for the Tivoli Gardens custodian. And there were many other saves as well. The Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. Yeah, it certainly doesn't deserve to be beaten twice tonight, but just not helped out by his defenders in front of him. He has done what he could to affect the game here, but, you know, players in front of him haven't been up to his standard. And as such, the trend continues. 26 goals conceded before tonight in their last uh, four meetings since 2012. It's Tivoli Gardens and JC, and this is 28 tonight. Here is Giovanni Taylor for Jamaica College, looking to make it 29. He's bonded over and gets a free kick. Shane McIntosh. They're going to have to be wary again, Tivoli. Twice they've conceded from set play. And in all of this run of 28 goals, Tivoli is yet to score a goal against Jamaica College. Their best run, best result was a 4-0. They're 2-0 now. <laughs> Maybe they'll improve on that. Yeah, definitely on course for an improved showing. And generally, it has been in the performance. Although, as you rightly pointed out, without quality goalkeeping, it could have been very much different. But that's part of why the goalkeeper is out there. Yeah, true. If you have a brilliant player out there who can make Maisley dribble or shoot from distance and he's spectacular you laud him so too the goalkeeper uh, he has been a brilliant one tonight not just there to catch the regular or the regulation uh, balls coming into the box <laughs> 90th minute free kick for Jamaica College headed behind by Johnson who was arriving by Thompson who was arriving at the back post we are approaching the 90 and we'll have a few minutes added on without a doubt 
Five minutes to be exact. Five minutes for Tivoli Gardens to create an opening day miracle. And it would be a miracle if they were to get something from this game. They have possession. And they need goals. This is the part of the field they have been let down significantly. Here is Howell for uh, Jamaica College. He loses out as well. Remains Penn sends it long. Goalkeeper Lynch showing off a little of his comfort with the ball at his feet. substitution coming up for Jovinka College Alexander Graver and one of those heading on and looks as if it will be a triple substitution for Jovinka College so we'll figure this out one at a time and there's the first one so JD Johnson comes off and Alexander Graver is on yeah the ball was deliberately kicked out a plate so that they could have this sub these substitutions made. Taylor is off. McLean, Zinedine McLean comes on. And Isaiah Stabell makes his entrance as well. Not a lot of time to go in this one. Not a lot of time for Tivoli to still have hoped, hope of getting something from this one. The yellow card being shown. Dennis is the one getting the yellow card. Yeah, came on in the 62nd minute, Jamo and Dennis. Sees yellow in added time. Just a minute and a half to play. Tivoli is hoping to at least have a dangerous shot and target. I don't think Lynch has really been tested in the Jamaica College goal. You're right about that. Not much coming from Tivoli in the attacking third. That's what has really let them down. Jamaica College, not quite, not very clinical as well. They've, they've scored two goals, but they've squandered a lot of opportunities. Yes, a lot down to the, the brilliance of Adir, but a lot of opportunities have gone a begging from Jamaica College. We are in the final minute of this contest. I did say if it had stayed the same way when it was 1-0. I personally put my hat up there for a dear 2-0. Some may argue that it's difficult. I mean, I have to look now at Jamaica College to see who would have been a more standout player than a dear has been for Tivoli. Or maybe I'd have to look at who was closest to him if we want to give it to the winning team. But... 
but there has been the most outstanding player for me. There's the final whistle. Like we have become accustomed to with uh, Davian Ferguson coach the teams. And Jamaica College efficient without being spectacular. But they start the campaign with a win. 2-0 over Tivoli Gardens. And they are so good at shutting out the noise and getting the job done. And once again, they have done exactly that. It's JC who start the campaign with victory. Tivoli Gardens now know that they still have a lot of work to do, but it's a long season and a lot can happen. And no reason for them to hang heads because there is still work to be done. It's still their best performance against Jamaica College in recent history since 2012. 2-0 loss, but still not good enough to get something from it. Maybe they say they're getting closer on the evidence of tonight. Uh, they were saved by their goalkeeper, who was brilliant. And in the end, still wasn't good enough to stop Jamaica College walking away too. And I, I still have Adair as my MVP for this one. He was the most outstanding player. Yes, his team lost, but he was, to me, the most outstanding player on the park. Let's have a look at the highlights in this one then. Jamaica College, the defending Manning Cup champions taking on Tivoli Gardens, the reigning Walker Cup champions. And in the first half, all Jamaica College. Giovanni Taylor, the exciting national under 15 player, but his shot was saved by Adair. And how about Amarni King sneaking in, but a weak effort in the final analysis. Garrick took a while to get his shot away and King with the follow-up, his effort was blocked. But Jamaica College kept coming, kept pushing. John laying that one off. Taylor inside. John taking a couple of touches, allowing Adair to cover and make another save. Howell shot from just outside the 18-yard area. Jabari Howell, that came off the crossbar. That was the closest Jamaica College had been up to that point. They might have been thinking that we would go to the halftime break all level. Tiffany Gardens with a rear shot towards the target. That was why this was a lovely pass from Daniel Watson. And they should have done better. Ball inside. Terry Carrick with the turn. Firing hard. And goalkeeper Adir had absolutely no chance. It was a ferocious finish. And Jamaica College went to the break with a one nil advantage. Second half, pretty much more of the same. Jamaica College attacking Chiafani Taylor with a chance. Another super save coming from goalkeeper Adair. Once again, just making himself big. His positioning brilliant. Corner kick. That one was headed away. Played back inside. And really good save again from close range. It was Carrick looking for his second King again, providing or getting a save out of a deer. That was another one. And then the second goal came in the 80th minute. Javon Mills, the transfer from York Castle, getting his first Jamaica College goal, getting his first Manning Cup goal. That meant a lot to him. That's how it would finish. Jamaica College 2, Tiffany Gardens nil. The defending champions start well at the National Stadium on the lights. Match statistics then. Jamaica College, 20 shots. Tivoli Gardens, 9 shots. 15 of those on target for JC. So you know that Shakur Adir had a lot of work to do. Just 3 shots on target for Tivoli Gardens. 21 falls in the contest. 10 against Jamaica College. 11 against Tivoli Gardens. 3 yellow cards. 2 for Jamaica College. 1 for Tivoli Gardens. And then corners, four for Jamaica College, one for Tivoli. Nine saves made by the Tivoli Gardens goalkeeper, Shakur Adair. Just three saves by the Jamaica College goalkeeper, um, Tawani Lynch. And I tell you what, none of those were difficult saves for Lynch. At the end of the first half, Jamaica College had a 58% worth of possession. At the end of the contest, it's gone up to 66, which means they were even more dominant in the second half. The stat that matters most, though, is that Jamaica College have beaten Tivoli Gardens by two goals to nil. Kimania Sullivan is by pitch side.
Thank you, Chris. I'm joined by the man of the match, none other than the goalkeeper for Tivoli Gardens High, and he'll be presented with his token on behalf of Digicel by junior brand manager Kadeen Webley. I have to ask you, you made so many saves in this game, nonetheless two spectacular goals scored on you. How do you feel about that game, seeing that your performance was so good but you couldn't manage to get the win? It's poor for my defenders, you can see that. Tell him, um, tell him, tell him say, yo, help me, because I can always help him. I'm going to show that tonight, but still, it's like, I'm going to go through them mind, I'm going to see that from them. So in terms of picking up your teammates and rallying the troops and coming back again, how soon do you think you guys can thread it back together and really come together and make a push to come the out next of the training group? session. The next training session. Yeah, you seem very serious. Where does that come from? Is it from the coaching staff or just the desire for more? From my heart. Thank you. Yeah, the Tivoli Gardens goalie there. A very stellar performance. Um, two goals that were really hard to stop on his behalf, but a very heartfelt message there coming from the goalie. I'm here with Coach Da Costa. Coach, in the end it was 2-0. You showed some good signs out there despite the scoreline. Is that how you viewed that game? No, don't view that game that way, but such as, such as the game, who score win the game, but you got to come again on the next training session. In terms of what you could improve in that game, I heard in the halftime break, you guys were focused on clogging the mid-pitch so that Jamaica College wouldn't have, much, have as much time to really pick apart the back line. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Cool. So in terms of going forward, how much can you guys improve on this performance to really get into the next round and beyond? In terms of going forward, we'll take it from the next training session. And from the next training session, we'll go advance the other one to reach the game on Friday. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. All right, that's Coach, Assistant Coach Da Costa of Tivoli Gardens High. I'm joined now by winning coach of Jamaica College, Coach Davian Ferguson, a very light smile there coach ferguson a 2-0 win i know you're a man that strives for excellence and you wouldn't have been particularly happy with that second half by your team no i'm contrary i think i'm i'm very happy with the performance first game of the season is a long season um really wanted to start on the front foot start with a positive result and i think the boys um came out here today and they acquit themselves well what we had on the pitch today was a lot of 14 15 and 16 years old um, coupled with about four or five, 17, 18 years old. So I think overall it's a, it's a good look. We have some more players definitely to come into the fall. So I think for the first game it's a really, really good performance. Speak to me a little bit about your new look staff. Um, I've seen you in constant discussion with Coach Raymond Watson and others. Speak to me about how they have been supporting you and the adjustments you've made throughout the game as well. Uh, nothing changes. Um, we always collaborate, we always try to have um, a cooperation amongst ourselves. So I think um, Coach Stewart, um, Coach Taylor, Coach Watson, all of them, we just get the job done together. How do you move forward in this one? Are you aiming for the title as per usual? If you look after the game, we were actually preparing um, those who didn't play because we look far ahead. Um, we try to look to the deep end of the competition. So although we want a positive result, we always try to really prepare them for the deep end of the competition. Thank you, Coach. Good job. Well, there you have it from the National Stadium. But a lot more to come as far as school boy football is concerned. First in Trinidad and Tobago on Wednesday, 2.30 p.m., 3.30 Eastern Caribbean time, San Juan North taking on St. Benedict's College SSFL action. Then next Saturday, the Costa Cup action, Porus versus Old Harbour, starting at 1 p.m. 2 ECT, to be followed by Glenmuir versus Central High at 3.30 p.m. 4.30 in the Eastern Caribbean. That's it from opening day at the National Stadium in Jamaica. Manning Cup champions, Jamaica College, starting with victory 2-0 over Tivoli after Clarendon College to the Costa Cup winners had beaten Lennon by five goals to nil.